What is up everybody? Gary Simon here of Design Course. Now, just yesterday, the pre-launch happened of designcourse.com. Now I'm gonna get to that in a second, but a part of the pre-launch was my free UI design game that I've been working on for quite a while. Some of you know about it, some of you don't. Now, basically it's just a fun way to train your eye and learn UI design fundamentals and concepts. And I, what I want you to do, uh, I want you to pause this video right now if you haven't taken the game yet, this whole challenge, and click on the top link here in the YouTube description and take the challenge and then share with us what your score ends up being by the end here in the YouTube comments. Then come back. And after that, I want you to check out this product hunt link here, which is also linked in the YouTube description. And do me a favor and log in or create an account and go ahead and give it an upvote and give a comment with your score that you got. I'm just trying to give it more exposure and your help would be very appreciated just to see if we can get this uh, more exposure essentially. Now, also, the, um, the like I mentioned, the pre-launch of designcourse.com, which I've been working on for a very long time, it's about half complete, but for one week, I'm opening this up uh, so that anybody can join. We already have well over 100 members that joined since yesterday, and you can actually start taking the course. You can get mentorship from me, uh, and it's just really packed with content that's gonna help all of you. So designcourse.com, um, we're gonna be shutting down memberships around the 20th or the 21st. So as always, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so make sure you click on the link here in the YouTube description and you will be arriving at this page. I actually, wait a second, is this the wrong U uh, window? What the hell, there it is, this is the right one. So you'll see this little pop-up, click start playing. I, I'm gonna be describing it obviously in the process of uh, showing you and assuming you already watched it anyways. All right, so activity feed, here we go. This is the very first one. So what is wrong about this? So I'm gonna have to say uh, right off the bat, I know for sure contrast is incorrect because uh, you wanna make sure you adhere to what's called the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.0, and it's a word salad, that's WCAG 2.0. Um, and I could just tell, just because I have a trained eye, that this is not enough contrast. People with vision impairment issues may not be able to see this or read this text, so it has to adhere to at least 4.5 to one contrast ratio. So we're gonna choose contrast right there, and it's gonna really bring that up. It's not completely black, but it definitely has a lot more contrast now. I could also tell the alignment is off. Take take a look at these little uh, status icons right here. And then look at this, like how this line is kind of underneath it. It's not centered horizontally with it. So we're gonna say alignment is incorrect. It's gonna kind of get these all organized to where they should be. And then finally, if you look at the white space right here, which is the empty space of a design, uh, and you compare it all the way around, like inside of this uh, container, there's not a much white space over here as compared to over here. So I know white space is incorrect and it's gonna push that over. And then we can also see by showing before, this is what the design looked like in terms of having bad fundamentals. And then this is it all tidied up. All right, so let's go ahead to the next one, feature blip. All right, so I could tell the extended letter spacing right here uh, or the tracking as it's called in topography uh, it just kills a design, uh, especially when you have uneven amounts and mixed sort of letter spacing or tracking. Um, so we're gonna choose typography and it's gonna get that tidied up right there. And then we, there, we know there's a, a color issue and or a contrast. Um, so I'm gonna say that this is bad color right here. Actually, this is more of a contrast issue. I should fix that. But I'm gonna choose color right here. And then this is gonna make it much more easy to read. Um, so let's go on to the next one. All right, so what is wrong here? I, this, I could t tell you, guarantee there's an issue of alignment. We have center text, but then we have kind of like this column that's established here. And then also these two elements, the forgot info and the, the login, they're left aligned. So there's inconsistent uh, alignment here. So let's choose that and it's gonna push those over. And then also, what else could be the issue here? Now this one I'm kind of having a hard time. I'm gonna choose contrast because these don't look like they're coming out too well. Uh, they're kind of hard to see, there you go. So you don't have to go this full contrast. I mean, you can go a little bit darker, but it's gonna be hard for people to see uh, where, some people at least, where those text fields are and where they should be clicking on. All right, so that's that one. All right, there's a lot happening here. I could tell we have uh, different fonts being mixed up. You don't wanna use too many different fonts in your design. 
You can do it, but you have to know what you're doing in this context. It just doesn't look good. So I'm gonna choose typography. And now it's changed these three uh, navigation items to the font that's right here in the sub nav. Now also I can tell you that there's a contrast issue here. It's hard to see risk management. This is way too uh, dark, this kind of uh, this overlay right here, or underlay rather. So contrast, there we go. So now it's much better. So this is kind of simulating like a, a selected item or a hover. Um, and then finally, scale. This crypto company is like just way too small in relation to the other size of the text. So we're gonna choose scale right here and that'll bump it up. So we got our before and then after. All right, next up. All right, shorten your URL. I can tell you right now that this this type of, this type right here, it just it does not look good. Uh, we're mixing fonts. I know this is a new Nito font. I forget what this font is, and then we have a different font here. Let's choose typography to fix that up. There we go. And what else is incorrect? All right, so this one's a little bit more difficult. I think I'm gonna say possibly contrast. Let's choose that. Yep, right here. That needed to be much brighter. Um, it just was kind of hard to read. It wasn't adhering to that 4.5 to one color contrast ratio. All right, mobile app onboard. Tell you right off the bat, there's a lack of white space. Look how this text is touching almost the very edge uh, to the left and right. So we're gonna choose white space and that's gonna bring it in. All right, that's much better. And then what else? Perhaps typography. This extended letter spacing just kills and makes the design look, I, I would say, Amateur, if when you're when you're mixing tracking up like this, so I'm gonna choose typography, bring that in, and there we go. Here's the before, and then the after. That's much better looking. All right, footer design. All right, so this one I could tell you color. Uh, we're, we're mixing hues that really just don't complement each other well. They don't contrast well. So we're gonna choose color here. And instead, what this is, is we're using the same hue, but we're just using a different tint or different shades. Um, and so that works much better. We also have an alignment issue. Notice how on company brand starts right here. Uh, it's defining kind of like this invis invisible column, but then this is kind of just pushed over here and it does not look good. So we're gonna choose alignment. And there we go. There's the before, here's the after. All right, next up, reporting statistics. Now this one, I, I have to say, looking at it, I'm, this is pretty. This is one of the ones that um, I know for sure is, nothing is wrong here. It's pretty solid, um, good vi visual hierarchy, contrast, all, all the important elements that we need to be able to read and see are there, so nothing's wrong. And I threw that in just kind of as like a little trick or whatever, um, just to throw people off. Now this one, when it comes to shadows, I've done videos on this before, uh, like these blurs. The shadow should be an afterthought. They should not be high contrast. So we're gonna say contrast is an issue here. We're gonna really, we didn't get rid of it totally. We still have it, but it's very soft. And then finally, we have two bits of uh, type. They're semantically different. We have the quote, and then we have the person who stated the quote. And look how close they are together. So we're gonna do white space, increase the white space, and then Honestly, this one, I would say, um, it, it's almost on the realm of subjectivity, but it's nice to have what's called visual hierarchy, typographic visual hierarchy. You have two different types of text that are semantically different. They should be styled different in some way, shape, or form. So we're gonna choose visual hierarchy here, and notice how we're gonna kind of just bold up the uh, author here, and make it smaller, um, and then we're gonna go and show you the before, and here's the after. Much better and cleaner. Pricing comparison. All right, so I can tell you right off the bat, color is an issue here because this red kind of highlighted border right here, not good at all. So we're gonna do color. All right, so it's gonna change to the same hue we're already working with, keeping things simple. And also, I we could check uh, alignment seems to be strange right here. Um, how everything's kind of just pushed to the left. There's a lot of white space right here. So alignment by kind of getting this stuff centered is going to improve everything. So watch what happens. It puts it right in the center. Now that looks better. Um, and if I show you the before, we'll see that before and then the after. All right, sports statistics here. All right, so this one, I'm probably gonna have to change this up because at this size, it doesn't even look bad, but I believe I did put um, one issue here as being scale, like the little labels right here, are just a bit too small. So I'm gonna choose that and that kind of boosts things up. So if I show the before, and then here's the after. 
All right, next up, white space, way too close right here. So we're gonna choose that. Moves things over, much better all around. Check out toggle settings here. All right, so what could be the issue? This one, I'm, ha I'm actually having a hard time figuring out what the issue might be. Um, yeah, what is the issue here? Well, these don't work, so I, 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 I can't even remember creating this. So what could be the, be the issue here? This might be a visual hierarchy issue. Notice how user settings is so small compared to the options here. I'm gonna choose visual, there we go. So now that's much better. The label demands more attention than the actual, um, uh, what do you call it, the labels of the, the heading versus the labels uh, of the toggle switches. News listing. All right, what could be the issue here? All right, I almost want to say scale could be wrong, um, but not necessarily. I mean, I think it has it obviously has visual hierarchy established already uh, between the type. I'm going to choose nothing is wrong. Oh, okay, good. Some of this could be subjective, so that's why it's a little bit tricky. User pop up. Not sure which solution is right for you. Chat with us now, and we'll help you out. So this icon right here. That's bad. I uh, that's bad color. It could also be considered contrast, which I, I left out contrast. So we're going to choose color here. All right, and then also I uh, scale. This button's too small. All right, so here we go. That's how you get a 28 points out of a possible 28 points. Um, so I know that this is a really tricky thing. Obviously I have an advantage because I created them even though I forget a lot of them. Um, but this is what helps you develop your eye. So I, for those of you again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video who haven't yet checked it out or you're not aware, um, the pre-launch is happening right now. It's gonna be ending, uh, I think we might extend it to the 21st here. Um, and then you can gain access to the entire curriculum right here. And it's going to help you tremendously to develop those fundamentals um, that which uses these exact same tests that's worked throughout the curriculum along with videos, along with the mentorship program if you decide to do that. Uh, and along with uh, uh, the interactive, or not the interactive, but the actual project submissions where you get to first learn things through video and the tests and then put it to work and then I review everything that you do. So definitely check that out. I'll see you soon, goodbye.